Hey everybody, it's Barbara Collins and with Madre Minutes and I wanted to um, just tell you that I'm going to do a 31 day uh, walk uh, with radiation. I am uh, just started radiation today and so I thought it might be helpful for some other people who are starting radiation um, to kind of just say what happened and what it was like and things like that. As you can see, I have marks all over me where they they mark you with markers to uh, show them where to line up the machine and, and show them where their borders are. As you can tell, my hair is kind of growing back. I have this sort of dent right in the middle. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's coming back and it's very soft and I'm, I'm actually in Houston at my friend's house. She's graciously, is a beautiful home. I'm just, she's just graciously opened up her home so that I can go to MD Anderson for my radiation. So I'm gonna share with you every day what that's like and just kind of what's going on. I have not been able to get online and do my Madre Minute show, but hopefully I will soon. Um, radiation today uh, didn't take, it took the longest that it will will take, you know, uh, less time the more times I go. Um, they had to kind of do what's called a dry run. They had made a mold. Um, the first time you go, uh, they show you the room uh, and they take lots of pictures and x-rays. Um, they take photographs of their marks on your body and they put more marks on me today um, and then they put this foam thing underneath your back and I had never experienced this and then um, they, they blow air into it or something and it blows up around your back and your shoulder and it forms to your arm so that because you have to have your arm up over your head for you know today I had to have it up over my head for 45 minutes so it just helps support that and so that they your arm stays still and they can get the beams where they need to get them so the first day I go in um, last week and they just sort of do they do preliminary marks and different things and the doctor talks to you a little bit and I did ask him because I have an expander in my breast um, because of um, you know reconstruction they just deflate it for radiation um, I was concerned about the, the beams hitting the magnet because I had heard that uh, radiation and metal don't mix and so I needed that reassurance again I was very concerned about it radiation has been my um, I think my biggest part of this whole uh, cancer treatment program radiation has been the thing that I've been most concerned about and um, even though you don't feel anything, and you don't, you know, at least right away, you don't. Um, so anyway, I go in and I ask him that question about, I said, now I hear and I've read that when the radiation beams hit the magnet that it scatters. And he goes, you know, you're the, the very first person that's ever asked me that. And I was just like, well, I want to know so that I can put that to rest in my mind. So, you know, he did, and that was good, and so I was able to move past that. Well, then today, I show up, and I thought I was just doing a dry run, and so they get me undressed, and they're walking me back, and they said, um, oh, yeah, so we're going to do kind of a walkthrough, and then we're going to do a treatment, and I was like, really? So, you kind of have to roll with what they, you know, um, kind of spring on you sometimes. And she could tell that I was having a problem with that. It just sort of, I wasn't prepared for treatment. I was only prepared for a dry run. But they were totally uh, accommodating and said, listen, if you don't 
if you're not ready for that and you don't want to do that, we don't have to do that today. We can start tomorrow. So I think it was just, you know, you, you get things kind of set in your mind about how things are going to be done. And then they're not that way. And it kind of throws you off a little bit emotionally. Because you really, I have to kind of gear up for treatment on the day of treatment. William, my husband always said, you know, I can tell when you're kind of anxious about it. So, um, I got up on this table. It was freezing cold, but they, you know, they make you only undress from the waist up and they line up the machine and the lights and they take pictures. And then the doctor came in and said, I like what I see on the x-rays. So we're going to go ahead with treatment. So he, you know, he treated it and, um, you don't feel anything, you don't see anything, you don't see a light, um, just you hear some sounds and that's about it. Um, you, they told me you could bring your own music in if you wanted to. Um, I kind of liked it just quiet. The sounds, the sound of the, the machines were like a big box fan so I actually kind of just rested. It was a nice quiet time for me. Um, and that's really about it. I was done in about 45 minutes. And like I said, that time is going to shorten every time I go in. And then I walked around MD Anderson and I went up to the uh, Integrative uh, Medical Center, Medicine Center. And it's where they have individual clinical services. They have a, uh, they have a chapel and they have a whole calendar of events and things to do like yoga and Pilates and nutrition, cooking classes, art classes, and different things like that. So I'm going to look into doing some of that. Um, I also wanted to show you, and I, this is so goofy, this is so not even about chemo or anything, but it kind of is because dental, um, you can't really go to the dentist while you're doing chemo um, because of the, the sharp tools and stuff. And so my son-in-law, my sweet son-in-law, um, his family lives in Alabama, and they told me about these doctors' um, brush picks. And they are the cool, they come in these little individual, sort of like Tic Tac, and they are the best things. They're plastic. You, you pour them out, and you take them out, and they have one... They have one end that's like a wedge, and then they have another end that is actually, can you see that? Maybe it's better on my black. It's hard to move this. Maybe on my black blouse you can see it better. It's a brush. Let me hold it closer. I always get turned around. See, it's like a little brush. It's really cool. I can't do it right there. Maybe it looks better there. And you just, you go in between your teeth, and you pick stuff out, they're the best. They are the best. And they're called the doctors. That's all they're called, is the doctors. And uh, brush picks. And you can get only get them, I think you can only get them at Walgreens. And I've been looking for them forever. And I finally found some. So I stocked up, and I'm going to send each one of my daughters one. Because getting all that stuff out between your teeth um, really really is helpful for your heart and your health. Um, we've also been, my husband and I have been brushing our teeth with baking soda. My teeth feel and look so white, so much whiter than they, than they have. Also, my little friend, I don't have much more time, but um, also my friend Carol showed me this wonderful new pen. It's made by Pilot. And it's a permanent marker, but it's a fountain pen. Here I go again with trying to hold things in front of the camera. It's like a fountain pen. See? Isn't that cool? But I believe it's permanent marker. But it's a fountain pen. So I, I, that was another new discovery. And I'm so excited I sold my car today. So all in all, it's been a good day. Radiation was okay and I rested. I got like a two hour nap. So it was all good. So God bless you. Thank you. 
I'm going to be posting every day right here on Madre Minute. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye.